Bueno, amigos, qué placer. Estamos con el boxeador, youtuber, Jay Paul, que va a una pelea importante contra una leyenda de las artes marciales mixtas, Tyron Woodley, 29 de agosto, en Cleveland. Where are my friends? We are here with Jay Paul. Uh, where your boxer, youtuber, whatever. And he's going to a big fight against uh, Tyron Woodley, a legend in MMA. First of all, uh, Jay, thanks for this minutes. I know your time is very busy. Uh, how's been the can knowing that Tyron Woodley came from wrestling, but also can box? Yeah, look, he, he's been boxing longer than I have, right? When I was on Disney Channel, he was winning UFC championships and knocking people uh, cold out on the canvas. Um, and, and so I know I have a very serious opponent and I've been training very, very hard. Um, and August 29th, I'm going to go in there and prove to the world that my skill, no matter how good Tyron is, is superior than his. I know that Tyron has been uh, preparing in Miami, sometimes with uh, Floyd Mayweather, sometimes with Pedro Diaz, a, a very well-known Cuban boxing coach. What kind of boxer do you expect? A boxer better than he was in MMA? Yeah, look, I think when you have a one-pointed attention towards something, you develop faster. And so I think this will be uh, the best version of Tyron striking that we will see. Um, and he's been working with, you know, some, some legendary people. Uh, but like I said, you know, it, it doesn't matter. The outcome will still remain the same, which is me knocking him out. Uh, in less than three rounds and adding him to my meme collection. When we saw the fight again, Ben Askren, we were disappointed really, because uh, I think personally that Ben Askren didn't took you seriously. I don't think that Ben Askren trained hard for you. It was out of shape. It was nothing. Do you think that really Tyron Woodley has the, the pride to be better than Ben Askren? Yeah, 100. I think uh, you know he was sitting there ringside when I knocked out Ben Askren in his corner. So he saw how serious I am. He saw how hard I could punch. And I think Tyron is training very, very hard for this fight. And he knows I'm a serious fighter. And he can't take me lightly. You know, I'm the I'm I'm the faster, stronger guy. And uh, he knows that. If he makes one wrong move, he's going to get knocked out. What it would take, Jay, for the people, for the media, for the fans to take you seriously as a boxer? Really, you know, really I seriously. Just, I think it just takes some time. I think people are starting to turn the corner, seeing how dedicated I am to this and seeing how much I love this sport uh, and seeing that I bring a different breath of fresh air to this sport. And I work hard, you know, so I think people should respect that. I'm in the gym every day, twice a day, jogging, running, sprinting, stretching, recovering, punching, dipping, dodging, ducking. So <laughs> I'm doing it all. And I think people have to see that work ethic and uh, have to respect how, how, how I'm winning. And speaking, it's just speaking, about, time. speaking about work ethic, I was reading uh quotes from a very well-known uh, mma coach saying that he suspect that you were going to use steroids that are you going to use uh forbidden substances for the fight what what can you respond to that look i, th I think it's a compliment um mm -hmm. you know the, the, they don't have any excuses left i guess they're running out of excuses and The MMA world is already trying to discredit me. They're already trying to make excuses for Tyron when he loses. Um, but this is a professionally sanctioned bout uh, with real commissions involved, and there is drug testing. So, you know, these accusations are, uh, you know, just for attention and because the, the guy who made it is – is clearly uh, running out of clout and he, and he wants to use my name for some attention. Uh, Tyron Woogley 
looked so bad in his last fight, MMA. Some people say that maybe mentally he's not into it. We see him physically. Physically, it's very fine, Terry Woogley. Do you think he has his mind into the fighting game? I think so. You know, I think just because of the opportunity at hand. This is the biggest fight of his career, and it's the biggest payday of his career. And so he knows that if he puts on an amazing performance, then it could be life-changing for him, even at this stage of his life. Even though he's already accomplished so much, this could be his biggest accomplishment. And so that is why I think he is dedicated to this. And he said he's training like he's fighting Mike Tyson. Um He, he knows what's at stake and he knows that the whole MMA community is counting on him to beat me and to stop, you know, this whole circus. Uh, so it's going to be a good fight. You say something that I, I'm going to ask you. I sense that too. I sense that the whole community, not just MMA, boxing too. They want to try to beat you, but beat you badly. Yep. Do you send that? Yeah, a hundred percent, you know, and it was the same thing with Ben Askren, you know, they were all rooting for their guy and then one minute. So, and it's, it's, it's going to be no different here. You know, the, they, the MMA community and, you know, some of the boxers who want me to lose, they can root for Tyron as much as they want, but at the end of the day, they're not in the ring going against me. He's the one that has to deal with the problem child. And he's the one that has to take the punches. And I'm going to embarrass him in front of all of those people and make him pay and end his career. At what point, Jay, do you think, okay, this is entertainment, this is sport. At what point you say, this is for me more than entertainment? I've already said that. You know, th this is about the sport. I, I train like a, a real, real professional and I, I don't cut any corners from my diet to my recovery. I'm on point. I'm a real athlete. I grew up as an athlete. So really, you know, I'm just going back to my roots. Entertainment is what I did second. Sports and football and wrestling is what I did first. And so I'm going back to what I know and what I'm truly, truly the, the greatest at. Um, so I feel at home. Last question. What after Tyron Woolley? What's coming? You say sometime, uh, maybe Conor McGregor in the future. What is the next step for you? I think there's a long path ahead, man. I have a hit list of people that want to fight me. Uh, and I'm taking them out one by one. Conor McGregor's on that list. Canelo's on that list. Tommy Fury's on that list. Nate Diaz is on that list. So as fast as we can get these negotiations done, uh, you know, I'm going to be knocking these guys out. Thank you so much for your time, Jay. Uh, hope to see you on, uh, uh, August 21, fighting Titan Wood. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you, man.